Oh my god! Hey! I want CC mode back on! I keep shooting people apparently. <laughs> oh my god! Okay, there we go. Now I want safety mode back on. When did it even turn off? I never hit the down button. There'll be more coming. We have to find a way past this gate. Okay. That should be No, okay, now safety mode is off. Okay. I'm really confused right now, but okay. So which way am I going? This way, really? Oh. <laughs> Always with the damn gates. What we need are explosives. But I used mine up on the way here. If only we knew some sort of tiny crazy old man who enjoyed blowing things up. <laughs> <laughs> ah Did you see that order? Let the whole city bow to our thunder. Hang on. How did you get to the other side in the first place? Dwellers have their ways, my boy. Is there anyone left to kill? There will be soon. More troops are on the way. Kalian's fleet got a fair few, but not all. We'll hold them off. Come on, Boulder. There's more fighting to be done. Good luck in there. Hope the crown fits. Let's finish this for good. While I can still stand up on my own. All right, off we go. This is actually pretty anticlimactic. It's not not so anticlimactic of the last game, but um, I don't know. I mean, I guess you just expect more fighting, and well, yeah. You will see. Shall we knock? No. Let's surprise him. So, this is how it ends. The old fool and the child who ran away. You finally become the woman I always wanted you to be. She's a lot more than that, and now she's ready to take your place. Perhaps the time has come for someone else to lead Albion. You were never a leader, just another tyrant. Did it ever occur to you that I may have had good reason to be? We're not interested in your reasons. Power behind ignorance if you will. My sister deserves to know the truth. Save it for the trial, Logan. You can beg for your life then. Yep. <coughs> you guys may end up liking Logan in the end. I know I did, but anyway, I'll shut up. I'm all queeny now. There she is. <clears throat> the Queen of Albion. You've made it. Just like I always knew you would. It doesn't get any easier though. You have a country to run now. And with Jasper busy in the sanctuary, you'll need a new personal aid. Someone who can keep you organized. Let me introduce you to... Hobson. Hobson's the name, Your Majesty. 
May I say what an extraordinary honor it is to serve you. I have a vast wealth of experience, I assure you, though I have yet to experience vast wealth. <laughs> that, Your Majesty, is an example of the sense of humor which will no doubt make our time together such a delight. No doubt. Well, I'll leave you two to get better acquainted. I should begin preparations for the trial. The trial? Of course. The very first item on today's agenda. Among my other qualities, I am well versed in toadying, public relations, and time management. And I heartily believe the key to being a successful queen is following a well-scheduled royal agenda. If you will permit me, here are today's appointments. Okay, so we're going to judge Logan, set the tax policy, talk to Reaver, and consider proposal to rebuild the Bowerstone Old Quarter. Okay, so I'm about to go into some massive debt. So, <laughs> um... I certainly will be off camera doing lots of money making after this, okay? <laughs> I'm sure you will do a marvelous job presiding over your brother's trial, which, as I said, will be your very first royal duty. Your subjects await in the throne room for what is sure to be an historic occasion, Your Majesty. Now this is where I say you guys might start liking Logan. Okay, this is where I started liking him, but um, I, I guess it could just be me. I don't know. But here we go. Oh, all stand to attention for the Queen of Albion. Logan, former king of Albion, you stand accused today of crimes against the kingdom and its people. Those who brought you to justice will now speak. There's not a soul alive in the kingdom who hasn't suffered for his glory and plenty who died for it. I say is, let him have some death of his own. Look, I'm not one for lopping people's heads off, but we saw Major Swift executed like it was a bloody circus act. He deserves nothing less as far as I'm concerned. But aren't we better than that? Isn't that why we fought to be here now? I've seen what Logan has done to this city. People starving to death. Children forced to work. But killing him now won't solve anything. It is not my place to decide his fate. But his betrayal condemned many of my people to death. He promised us salvation and then left us to face the darkness alone. I had good reason to break that promise. And I had good reason for the crimes you claim I committed. The day I returned to Albion, I received a visit from a blind seer, Teresa, our mother's guide. She showed me the future of this kingdom. The darkness in Aurora is coming here, bringing death, destruction, the end of our way of light. The sacrifices I had to make, I did them to protect Albion. If a few had to suffer, it was to build an army. If a few had to die, it was to save a country. I have spent years preparing for this attack. Let me stand by your side now, and all my soldiers will be yours to command. Let us face the coming darkness, together. If this is true, if it's really coming here, we are all in great danger. You have the power over life and death, sister. Now choose. Of course I'm going to pardon him. Don't the you like him a little better friend. now? Just a little better. This is not the time for revenge. We need your help, Logan. The Queen has made her decision. Logan's life will be spared. Oh, he's like, oh. <laughs> I know you will never forgive me for the things I've done. You told me so once. Remember? Of course I do. But what matters now is that we defend our land. The castle is yours, and so is the throne. 
I'm glad to be rid of him. <laughs> I bet he is glad. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know. I mean, I guess it's just like... It wasn't like he was just being a tyrant because he wanted to. It was more like because he had to, I guess. I don't know. You have fulfilled the first part of your destiny. You were little more than a child when you left the castle. You have become a hero, a leader, and now, finally, a monarch. But your journey is not yet done. Now you are queen, you can know the truth. Albion will soon be attacked, and the threat could not be greater. Yeah, we already know that, Teresa. You're a bit late to deliver the news. Darkness is coming to our land. It cannot be reasoned with, it cannot be halted. The ruler of Albion is all that stands between the world we inhabit and that darkness. That is why you had to take your brother's place. The course of history demands it. If you do not succeed, everything we know will come to an end. Why didn't you tell me all this at the start? It was never about Logan, was it? I told you what you needed to know, and I never spoke anything but the truth. With Logan on the throne, Albin would have been doomed. This much I know. Only with a hero wearing the crown do we stand a chance of survival. And how do I stop it? You won't. Its arrival is inevitable. One year from now, the darkness will fall upon Albion. All you can do is prepare and hope to save as many of your people as you can. How you do so is up to you. Two paths lie ahead. You may keep the promises you have made and be known as a benevolent ruler, but understand that doing so will leave little to spend on the kingdom's protection and may lead you to disaster. It is not easy to be popular and keep the treasury full unless you are willing to sacrifice your personal wealth. But you may also choose to break those promises, to harm your people in order to save them. You will not lack the means to build the army you need, but you will be hated this path will cast you in the role of a tyrant, as it did your brother. You have one year to do what Logan could not. Be the ruler that readies Albion for the greatest threat it has ever faced. And be the hero that can stand against it. Alright. Well, we're going to try to go for this. But, um... <laughs> we'll see how good I do in protecting everyone. It could take me a while to get all the money that I need, but um, I'm just hoping that I can get it done before our brotherhood. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna go and do my magicness. Alrighty. So back we go to the portal. Suppose I could just do this, yeah. Okay, so I think I may stop here because, like I said, it's really kind of necessary to, um, Go make some more money while I can. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Excuse me. It's like 10 in the morning and I'm like, <laughs> tired. Your Majesty, I'm not sure what to say after receiving such news. The darkness that is coming. People won't understand what it means. Nobody could, without living through it first. We need to prepare.